Welcome to Northern Iceland in September of 2022. That right there in the center of the screen is the Voyager of the Seas. It is on the other side of the, uh, I'm not sure what you call this area here, the bay or whatever it is. We are uh, at the very end of our big Jewels of the North Shore excursion. There's another look at the Voyager as we're very slowly making our way back around to the ship at the end of the excursion. Pretty cool deal. We were uh, going to several different places in Northern Iceland, got a chance to see some amazing sights uh, during this 14 night Arctic crossing cruise. This was uh, the fall of 2022. So if you think back to the pandemic times, in the spring of 2022, all of the cruise ships were starting back up. And so what they did with Voyager of the Seas is they restarted the ship over in Copenhagen, Denmark. And so for the summer of 2022, the ship was operating out of Denmark and it was operating all through the Mediterranean, doing various cruises over there during the summer of 2022. And then in September, they were ready to bring it back to the U.S., so it was a 14-night repositioning cruise that would swing through the Arctic. So the, crew, the uh, ship left from Copenhagen, Denmark, went up to uh, Christiansen, Norway, and had a really good uh, day there, a couple of short excursions, and beautiful, beautiful area. Love Norway. Then we went from there up here to Akawari and uh, spent a day up here. And then from here, we would go down to Reykjavik and spend a day and a half there in Reykjavik, which was pretty neat. And then from there, we would go over to Greenland and we were supposed to stop at Nuk in Greenland, but that was canceled about a month before the cruise. And so the only place we were able to actually get off the ship in Greenland was over at Kokortok. And outside of that, we did the Prince Christian Sund area, which is just kind of, you don't get off the ship, but you sort of cruise through this, this fjord area of kind of thing, and you go look at a glacier. And so that was the very last part of the cruise. And then we went over to Boston, Massachusetts. So here we are, Junior Suite Balcony, deck number nine, starboard side of the ship, just kind of checking out Akawari before the ship begins to sail away and start heading down to Reykjavik. Uh... Prince Christian Sun, uh, Greenland, which is not a stop, we just sort of pass through. It's uh, similar to doing Arctic, uh, not Arctic, um, Endicott Armadas Glacier in Alaska, where you're driving very, very slowly through, you know, big chunks of ice, uh, you know, kind of like a fjord kind of thing. And then uh, Kortok, uh, Greenland, which is a tendered stop. And then Naturalic or something like that, Greenland, which is also a tendered stop, and then uh, three days at sea, and then Boston. And then we get on a Delta plane and fly back to Orlando, Florida, which is completely the opposite of this. <laughs> Orlando is flat and hot and spread out. All right, so it is 3.56 p.m. All on board time is 4.30. Let's get you a little look down here on the starboard side of the ship. There's uh, everybody right there coming back on. There's a little, little gray building down there. But um, you can walk through there and do a last minute souvenir shopping. Or you can come straight through there where those people are coming, like if you're just walking back to the ship. And uh, got to do a little deal where you show your CPAS card. 
this little white building right here says it has free Wi-Fi, but uh, we were told that less than stellar. So. Industrial report. Is that the lady was telling us on the uh, drive back on our excursion. They have to have everything imported, as you might imagine. Not everything, but quite a few things. There are certain things of food that they can produce here in Iceland. Uh, of course, a lot of fish. There are certain types of meats. Energy is uh, relatively cheap, I guess, because of all the geothermal. But uh, cars, fuel, clothing, all kinds of other stuff building materials, whatever, all that stuff.